I'm being completely honest, this is a this is a crazy faith trip for many reasons. So I came out here to look at apartments for a job that I don't have an offer for on the expense of a brand trip that I got through influencing. You see how full circle the moments are? If I begin to tell you guys more, you'll think I'm making this up. I'm not making this up. This is happening and I'm in awe. Hello and good morning. It's officially February 29th, which is a leap year, a leap day, a day that doesn't typically happen. Today is very important for many reasons. So I'm currently in LA, Los Angeles, and I am getting ready for my final pitch with Spotify. How did we arrive here? It's a good story time. Do I have enough time to tell y'all? I don't know, but I've been experiencing a lot of shifts and I've been trying to be transparent with taking you guys on a journey with it. Oh, of course, at the timing that I'm comfortable sharing. And all I know is God is making a way. God is in the room. And this is honestly like a crazy faith trip. If I'm being completely honest, this is a this is a crazy faith trip for many reasons. So I came out here to look at apartments for a job that I don't have an offer for on the expense of a brand trip that I got through influencing. You see how full circle the moments are? And ever since I touched down, honestly, ever since New Year Fashion Week, I don't know what point y'all are watching this video. I don't know at what point I decided to actually showcase to you guys my video series. But Fashion Week was very revolutionary because at this point we're coast to coast. The plan was not to come to the West Coast and be in California. The plan was to be on the East Coast in New York. God said, I got plans for you though. And God's been moving. All I gotta say is God's been moving. So I'm really excited for the opportunity. Um, honestly, I'm gonna just start speaking. So, who? where do I start? Where do I start? <sighs> Last night I had a conversation with um, some friends and we were chatting. And one of them, he had asked like, why are you here looking at apartments? Why are you even touring when you don't have an offer? And I was like, I can't really explain it, but I've honestly experienced so many revelations and full circle moments where I just feel like I'm supposed to be there. Like, I, I'm supposed to do this. Like, it's perfect timing. He's like, okay, I mean, like, best of luck, but it just doesn't, you know, make sense. He had mentioned the word glory. He's like, so you're leaving the money for the glory. So I don't know. He's like, well, what I mean by leaving the money for the glory is like, moving to LA is more glory than like money. You being in Texas, there's no state taxes. Like it logically makes sense to make more money in Texas. You're leaving that to go to LA. And I was like, I guess, yeah, when you put it like that. And I didn't really like the word glory that he gave, but full circle moment, I'm rewatching the sermon that Sarah Jakes Roberts preached the Sunday before I left onto my brand trip came here to LA, all of the above, right? The same sermon that made me even start a three day fast. So yeah, update, I did a three day fast. So much transpired and happened in those three days. And so much full circle is still happening. So I re-listened to it and she started talking about glory. She's like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're about to walk into a season where God's giving you glory and da 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 da. Let me see if I can even play it. Come on, generational purse breaker. Proceed from here. When we find them in Acts 1, they're moving into another realm of glory, but they don't know it yet. But God has prepared them, and Jesus is telling them that I'm going to give you something to help you move into this next dimension of glory. Hmm. God help me to say this. God help me. So, 
this all ties back and I hope this makes sense this all ties back to when he asked me why I'm doing this and I couldn't really explain it the exact point that I ended up pausing the sermon like it was speaking to me I paused it and I listened to it again but when I paused it it was at 40 minutes and 13 seconds now I'm listening to this sermon while I'm eating while I'm taking a shower while I'm about to start my makeup I did my whole skincare routine I brushed my teeth and yes, Sarah was speaking to me, but she started really speaking to me at 40.13. Now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of 40.13? I don't know. But for me, I said, let me Google it because it sounds like this is a Bible verse. Cool. So I Google it. I typed in Bible verse 40.13. You know what popped up? Isaiah 40.13. And it says, who can fathom the spirit of the Lord or instruct the Lord as his counselor? And I said in my head, this is literally how I feel. Like I literally cannot fathom or put into words what is going on and why I'm here before the offer. I can't put into words why I'm taking such risks, such risks to place myself in these situations, to meet up with different people, to go tour different apartments, to kind of get myself acclimated. I've been to LA before. Last time I came to LA, it was on a work trip. You can run back some of the YouTube videos I was with IBM. And that was a whole experience in itself. So I've always liked LA. I've always thought about LA. But that was like the first and last time I was there. I was like, okay, work brought me here. You see what I mean? Now, work is bringing me there again. Whew. So, in this crazy story, I feel like God has spoken to me in so many ways and I've experienced so many revelations that I literally cannot keep up. I'm, I'm finding myself like crying, shaking, like what is going on? There has to be a reason for all of this. I, I don't know how else to describe it except for I'm supposed to be here. Like, you know, when you just, you just feel like you're supposed to be there. That's how I feel exactly how I feel so I'm moving by his strength and not my own I'm having crazy faith that God said it's mine I'm having crazy faith that I'll be capable of fulfilling all of the things that I need to fulfill Whew. and I'm believing and hoping that everything works out and if you end up watching this video guess what it all worked out it all worked out crazy crazy just to touch on the other ones because I made a list of all the revelations that I experienced from the moment I literally whoo yeah I got a bullet list all the divine appointments that I have witnessed and experienced from the time I got to California let's just run it run it through so when I got to California the lead marketer for Black Joy Parade, which is the brand that I came on the brand trip with, she texts me when I take it off airplane mode and she says, you're on the same plane as, you're probably on the same plane as my parents. I'm looking around the airport. We're off the plane. I'm looking around the airport. I see a woman whose eyes look just like hers. And I said, are you, do you know somebody by the name of? She said, yes. I said, is that your daughter? She said yes. I said, oh my gosh. We end up riding in the Uber together to the hotel. That was point number one. Point number two. I have a like sister friend. She was a bridesmaid while I was a maid of honor for my sister's wedding. She recently moved out here to the Bay Area. I hit her up spontaneously. This woman's always working, right? She spontaneously is available to do everything with me. And it just felt like I had like family with me in a sense. So we go to brunch. She came as my plus one. Everything was taken care of. She got like the full experience. We went to the Golden Gate Bridge. We went to the um, museum, Legion of Honor. Everything was crazy. <sighs> Another one. I ended up running into somebody that I haven't seen in so long. And that brought up a lot of emotions. Um, good and bad, but overall good. And it was super interesting, very specific, 
for sure a divine appointment. Another one. I end up meeting one of my friend's friends. I'm going into the after party and this girl stops me. She goes, your face looks familiar. I said, what did happen? At this point, nothing can surprise me, what's up? She tells me, do you know a girl name? And she says, my friend's name. I said, yeah. She said, I'm friends with her too. I said, oh cool, she's like, yeah, I've always seen you with her. I said, yeah, that's my girl. She goes, yeah, one of her friends sent me your podcast recently. I said, huh? She's like, yeah, and I listened to the most recent episode, the part one and part two, the girl who um, made her first meal by 25. I said, yeah. She was like, yeah, like, your podcast is fire. Da, da, da. I'm in a whole San Francisco, a whole Oakland, a whole Bay Area. And somebody's asking me about my podcast and saying that they're already an avid listener. This same podcast that I started as an outlet for my own voice and to share other people's stories and testimonies, the same outlet, the same podcast that I'm now interviewing for Spotify. Hey, be for real. So, the next one, let's keep going, because <laughs> we run it through all. The next one, I'm walking into one of the first events. Ooh, as soon as I walk in, I, I'm stopped by um, a woman and a gentleman, and um, they both say, hey, so good to see you again. How are you? So, huh? this is my first time in the Bay. See you again? I'm so confused. They're like, yo, we've met before. They were so adamant that we met before. Long story short, I asked them, what is it that you guys do? What's your affiliation to all of this? Because I'm one of the influencers that they flew in. And um, I don't know, maybe that's where you guys recognize me. They were like, yeah. Um, I think maybe we had met last year. I said, okay. If y'all think we met last year, we met last year. The lady tells me she's the PR and communications lead for Visit Oakland. She says she does influencing marketing. She works with influencers. We talked about how we're going to work together. I asked the gentleman what his name is and what his affiliation is. He tells me that he's the president. She now proceeds to tell me that's my boss. Let me remind you, I was just walking in to this event. Mind you, I was late to the event, but me being late was me really being on time. Do you see what I mean? I was late to the event and God said, nah, you're not late, you're right on time. And this has been happening. Let's fast forward, next one. I have a whole conversation with somebody in the elevator. I'm just there being myself and he's like, you look happy. You look like you had a good weekend. I was like, yeah. He's like, oh. Um, what is it you do? I told him I'm one of the influencers they flew in. He's like, okay, cool. Well, I have a winery in Napa Valley. It's black owned, Black Roots is the name of it. We're now, you know, come April, gonna be in all the total wines, like you name it, they're in it. He said, they're gonna start their marketing. I said, you guys work with influencers? He said, we're gonna start. I said, well, I have a podcast where I feature different branded drinks and I serve my guest, and I've been featuring Black Girl Magic, the um, wine by the McBride sisters. He knows her by name. He says, oh yeah, Robin was at the event. Their, their booth was right next to ours. I'm like, whew, okay, cool. Well, you know, would love to partner with you. He tells his assistant, yeah, go grab a bottle out of my uh, trunk so we can gift to her so she can feature it on her podcast. Huh? Simply off of me standing there and him saying, you look like you had a good weekend. <sighs> if I begin to tell you guys more, you'll think I'm making this up. I'm not making this up. This is happening and I'm in awe. Okay, okay, let's keep going. I'm going through TSA to go from SFO to LAX. I'm going from San Francisco to LA. And I am hoodie, no makeup, chilling, got my Beats headphones in. And I'm essentially giving, don't talk to me. <laughs> That's what I'm giving, don't talk to me. This man fully suited, whoa. Hmm. This man who's fully suited, just really clean, 
he's staring me in my face. He comes up to me really close. He was like this. It's like that. I said, hi. He said, you know who you look like? Who do they say that you look like? Who do, who do they keep saying that you look like? I said, oh, oh, oh I, I, I don't know. I'm so confused, huh? He begins to tell me, tell me what you do. I'm listing off all the things that I do. I said, well, I'm an influencer on a brand trip. I am a woman in tech. I, hmm, I'm a business owner. I am a keynote. I'm a podcast host. He's something, he's a ah, keynote podcast host. You're a powerful woman. I said, okay, you spot on, you wanted something, what's up? He's like, do you know um, Fannie Willis? She's the DA for Atlanta. Right now she's, she's under heat. People may not, you know, like her, but they respect her. He said, you don't look like her, but you favor her. He said, there's something that's powerful about you. He said, if you don't take anything from this compliment, know that you're a powerful woman. I said, thank you. And I went about my day. Whew, let's keep going because you guys don't believe me. <laughs> so as soon as I land, my good girl, Heather, picks me up. And um, if you're not following Heather, follow Heather. She's on YouTube, back again, similar to me being back again. Our, our stories are too parallel at this point. Heather lives out in LA because Heather has an amazing, crazy faith journey story as well that I'll let her share at her own time. But to summarize, she picks me up from the airport. She puts my address in. She drops me off at my hotel. And before we get out of the car to get my bag, she goes, wait, this place looks so familiar. I said, what's up? coming back to her. I said, what's up? She said, hmm, this place is right next door to the same hotel I stayed at when I didn't have the casting call like confirmed and I was taking a chance. I said, wow. She said, there's a rooftop at the top. If you do anything, just stop by. There's something for you. So okay. First of all, I'm stunned at the fact that I found that hotel the morning of, I booked it on the plane, sitting on the wing right before I put my phone on airplane mode. That's when I booked it. That's when I got my confirmation. You see what I mean? And I found the hotel off Airbnb. I never find hotels on Airbnb. I didn't ask anybody for the hotel. I found it on Airbnb. So fast forward, fast forward. That next day I'm resting. I rested a little too long. I can see Hollywood from my window. I'm excited. I'm geeked. I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. This is great. Cool. I get out of my hotel finally. It's after checkout hours. Checkout, 12. Extended, 1. Me, 3. Huh? By the time I get there, it's like 4. I'm there from like maybe like 3-ish till like 6. A good three hours, two hours, 30, however you want to talk about it. I meet a girl from stranger to friend. Her and I are diving into convo. She's telling me so much about LA, things to do, what not to do, places to live. God ordained convo. She's very big on her faith. She's Jewish. We resonate with culture. I'm like, what is going on? People say people that, you know, the people in LA are pretentious and da da da. The one I'm meeting, she's, she's well, though. She's so sweet. She's so funny. She's so blunt. She's reading me. That's the thing. She has a psychology background. She is reading me like, like, like a vessel. Like God spoke to her, right? Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna move it all right here. I can give you guys a quick I'll let you check. Yeah, I was saying I don't know where the story stopped, but this is the outfit. Super cute bomber jacket from Amazon Fashion. Top is from Wolford. Skirt is actually from Shein. 
And then I'm gonna put these black combat boots. And I'll probably do, I'll probably do my silver Balenciaga bag as like an accessory. I like that with the Prada shades. Um, so now to put some, what is it called, scents on. Love these. This is um, Francis, it's a Mason Francis. It's the Aqua. You guys should get it. Um, I don't have any words for how things are going. I really don't. All I know is God is moving. Perfume de Marley. This one smells like a peach bellini. Love wearing it during the day. Very floral. Very like take me to brunch energy. Um, yeah. I'm about to experience something really big. The follow-up story. I'm on that rooftop and I meet somebody who I've already met before in person. He's like, what are you doing in my city? I said, uh, I came to LA to tour apartments because I'm on this crazy faith trip to come, you know, interview and do all these things, all the things that God is telling me to just be obedient towards because I'm interviewing with Spotify. He's like, wow, this can be a good look for you. Like I can see it with your brand and then the work that you already do as far as like a professional, it will be a really good merge. And I was like, yeah, like the, the stars are just really aligning. I feel like this is like the right company for me. So we continue our combo and it's like a business connect. He's giving me all the info of what I need to know about LA and he's gonna tell me more and it's great, all the things. We have many conversations and I'm telling him that I keep having these revelation moments and he's like, oh, like coincidences? I said, they're not coincidences. They're not coincidences. He's also like the co-founder of this really large organization called Amplify Africa. So we're talking about even just like the connects about now that I'm in LA, you know, let's see how we can bridge gaps. So the person he's meeting there shows up. Her and I greet, lo and behold, he goes, she works at Spotify, you're interviewing for Spotify. What? If you don't believe in God, let this be your reminder to believe in God. If you thought that all the things that I was saying were fable, that's your business. There's no other way for me to explain what's happening except for to tell my story and to tell my testimony. Maybe I'll do a full sit down, you know, podcast and be mic'd up. Maybe I'll just show you guys this very raw and authentic, get ready with me. Either way it goes, there's nothing that is holding me back from sharing my testimony. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the story's not mine, it's his. <sighs> Wish me luck. And like I said, if you're watching this, it, it's already done. It's already complete. And I'm officially going to be moving to LA to work at Spotify. Um, so yeah, I'm about to do my pitch. It's my last interview. I'm really excited. So let me just whoo, calm myself down. Love y'all. No, it's fine. Hello and good morning, guys. So we are officially in LA. I have to be quick because my battery is dead, but it's apparently on the way. Long story. At this point of the vlog, it's either an add-on. Oh, he's on a roll call. I'm going to just stop. It's going to be beautiful. Say hey girl. Hey girl. And we are about to tour it. Yes, not S20. Me and my little boo. Okay, ah! this is my, my twin flame. If play. you can kiss me in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi my cuties. Ah! So I'm here 
at Joey's in LA. We are literally downtown JCLA. And I'm here with my girl. I hope I can get copyright because I love this song, but please, people, don't copyright me. I honestly feel like I'm living a dream. And I'm here with my dream girl. Say hey, baby. Hi. officially Evil. we've had like really full days of tours but nine to five work. no this is a freaking <laughs> nine to five but it's been so cute and fun and i think we found a lot of spots that we like yes and yes, we we'll consolidate and then of course figure out which one we like best but i'm really pleased with how like today went yes today was very smooth like water today was like you said earlier like water <laughs> like when you tour a spot and it feels like water that's how you know you're supposed to live there you know mm -hmm. It shouldn't be really? giving too much, yeah, Fiji. Period. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna go home, change, and then get ready for dinner. I'm getting back. Hi, cutie. So we're at Casa Mandera. Hey guys, so today is the last day of me being out here in LA. I'm about to get to LAX and I'm gonna get on my plane. I'm gonna go back home. And to conclude the trip, this crazy faith journey, this crazy faith trip, I got the job. I got the offer and they're gonna give me the formal offer in writing on um, Monday. I'm really excited. I have tried my best to document in the moment while living in the moment, while being in the moment. This morning I did like my crazy cry, just praise and worship, just excitement, called my family of course, called my really close friends. And just being surrounded by people that really care about me and my success and like my journey, my testimony and them being a part of it, being used as a vessel has been really great. Um, so yeah, we are close to LAX. The traffic is crazy. I feel like this is about to be my new normal because I'm going to be traveling so frequent that <laughs> I don't know, man. All I know is I can't wait. Everything's just been working out. God has been moving in such a wonderful way. I was able to meet with a coworker um, for coffee. So they're my coworker now. They were about to be my potential coworker. Now they're my coworker. Um, I met up with him for coffee. He gave me the ins and outs and we chatted about like different things LA related based on the office, based on what to expect and what to anticipate. Um, just all the things, uh, best practices, things I should know. Um, yeah i'm really excited and then i also got to meet in person and tour apartments with uh, look guys i got to meet in person and tour apartments with another co-worker um she's a super cute girl we're around the same age we're both black um so everything's just been working out i'm not gonna lie Aww. 
yeah everything's been working out just having these people like in my corner they're all strangers that have turned into what feels like friendships um, when I was touring with her yesterday, it felt like I was catching up with a friend. And we had never really met before, right? Um, just the opportunity to look at apartments with a potential coworker in a new city just makes me feel like at all points I am being taken care of, I'm being watched over and like God is providing and he's showing up in human form through others. The advice that everyone's been giving me has been really great. Running into different friends at different places has been really great. Last night we went to dinner and then we went out after, like as soon as we were walking in, to the uh, restaurant James Harden is there like walking out so we all just kind of see each other and I was like okay I feel like I'm in the right place and then we get to the after party and just like very casually Chris Brown's there and I'm like okay two in one night is kind of crazy in my world but this is the new norm like this is about to be the new norm so all the experiences you guys saw during Fashion Week, like me meeting Dapper Dan, shaking hands with Swiss Beats. Ah. All of it is about to blow my mind. I just know for a fact, and thank you so much. You're welcome. I just know for a fact that God is about to blow my mind. So yeah, guys, super excited. Let's see how it all goes. The map is like from on the ghost bunch. Before the double R had to hit like some. Her friends didn't like dudes like us, but I arrested the Gucci and I'm at the airport now. I'm about to check in these. This is why I love flying Southwest. Southwest will forever be my favorite, to be honest. I'm gonna check in these and then I'm gonna keep this and this with me on the flight. And I can stack them and just roll them around. Super easy. Wow. Okay, hey guys, so I'm at my gate and I just found myself getting really emotional because my friend that I'm staying with, but, uh, her mom thinks just like my mom. Um, they both sent me like African gospel songs to listen to and I just finished listening to the one that my mom played or sent and now I'm listening to the one that her mom sent. It's just crazy how in sync everybody's parents are and like how our experiences all intertwine. Like we all have like the same childhood and like traditionally it just feels very familiar in spaces that are unfamiliar so like me moving and making this move to LA feeling like I have family there is just so amazing see so yeah, I'm listening to the song um, it's by Sinatch I know who I am and it just has me remembering like who God has called me to be who he says that I am and I'm attention in the terminal, attention in the terminal needs to hear this. Uh, not the intercom. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I feel like God is trying to tell us that like the enemy can get in your head and show you certain experiences that will make you feel like it's not your portion to win or succeed, but like if you're not winning or if it feels like it's, you know, a little too difficult, because you're not at the end yet you know like that's not what he has for your will so don't give up so yeah i'm just really glad and happy that i didn't give up in that i know who i am and i always knew who i was and the enemy may try to make me second guess that but we're not letting the enemy win this is a testimony for sure it's just amazing to see like I'm really about to be doing this like started a podcast now working at Spotify in LA home of the podcast crazy transferring all my skill sets 
running into the right people. I've met so many people that are like exactly who I need to meet. Smoking I can't put it into in words designated areas except for only. just continuing Please to express my gratitude. Smoking while walking throughout the building. Yeah, God is doing a wonder, so. That's me. A very blessed girly.